May the sun shine warm upon your face. Noble lady. May Perun always walk with you. You can't use this man. Normally, I would not leave your shenanigans without proper reaction. But the times demand more than narrow-mindedness. Let's get down to work. Mm-hmm. Let's work, then. <sighs> Let's. When we still can push the parasite back. You must mean... the roots. They go even more rampant in the woods these days. The forest dies under torture they bring upon it. We don't have much time. Is it that bad? The roots stop at nothing. They won't be affected neither by heat nor frost. And us? We are limited by our pathetic, cruel corporality. What will happen with a forest in winter when we are gone? Let us act then. And there's still time. We need to be fast, swift, and precise. To maintain the frail balance of light and dark, we cannot hesitate. Not even to cut deals with the enemy. You mean you and the cursed are... Mm, me and the cursed. Me and that unstable degenerate, Wacko. I'm sure you've had the pleasure already. Am I right? The world must have really turned upside down if Grands are going to work with the Cursed. Still, most mushrooms will never know. The appearances will be kept. <sighs> Weren't we a bit short-sighted all along? Too focused on the game between the Grands and the Cursed, while the real threat crept up slowly, inevitably. But you are right. The world really turns upside down if you can't spill your foe's blood. Because they never had any to begin with. Are you still talking about the roots? About the stones. The stones? Well, I, I might have seen a stone or two, and they didn't seem to be overly hostile, you know? Because they weren't corrupted. You're telling me even the stones are being taken by the roots now? Even then, indeed. We must aid our allies, the Stonelings. We'll stay undercover, as always. But can't an echoing whisper bring down an avalanche? Did I get it right? You're going to work with the Cursed? With Wacko? Uh, you can't really reason with a madman. We'll just try not to get in each other's way. My ideas keep him occupied enough not to meddle, but I wouldn't recommend trying to verify that. He's still gravely dangerous. Behind the scenes, however, we'll be sharing a common goal. I've already seen to it. How is it even possible that the Roots have taken the stones? Inexplicable, yet not impossible. In a life of the stones may be far more intricate than one could be led to believe by their appearances. You must have noticed that. <laughs> Who wouldn't? They roll, they climb, they wander. They even stalk their prey. Sometimes the glaciers carry them. And this is exactly how one of their clans arrived in the forest one day. I take it this is the clan that's causing all the trouble? The one possessed by the roots? Mm-hmm. They turned out to be highly susceptible to the local diseases and parasites. With the roots sprawling around, their corruption was inevitable. Their hearts hardened and their fists yearned for blood. Not the best figures of speech for the occasion. <laughs> Imagine what can happen if the corruption doesn't face resistance from a basic building block of the world. The roots will take over whole mountains, crush continents. They might even reach the Earth's core. This is pretty bad news. Eh, pretty bad. For now, the Allied Stonelings hold the front line. 
but the tide is turning. This calls for non-standard measures. Fine. Let's make some arrangements and execute them swiftly. The arrangements, I mean. I knew I could count on you, Agent. You will meet our liaison in the Stone Army. Remember, wherever the mission leads you, never turn your back on the enemy. They will be lying in wait to dig a knife in your back. Right. The stones tend to get agitated when you turn your back on them. I'm on it then. Wait. There's one more thing. The countersign for today is Stepping Stone. You'll need it. Stepping Stone. Got it. Shalik Hanrick mentioned must be somewhere here. I'd better take a look. Locked? Guess I need to find some way around. Access to the depository of unprocessed artifacts is strictly prohibited. <laughs> oh. I don't know what you want, but I don't have any time for that. Well, Henrik sent me. Supposedly, you have the Golden Shellac in this? Depository of unprocessed artifacts? I really need it to... Maybe I have. Maybe I don't. Right now, I'm fully absorbed in something else entirely. <laughs> there has been a gross violation of the protocol in the form of somebody having eaten my oh. porridge. I had no idea spiders ate porridge. We don't. Still, the porridge was mine. And it has been eaten by someone. Oh. Cataloging that event will take ages. Oh. Not to mention choosing the correct action procedure. I am absolutely preoccupied until further notice. <laughs> I just need you to open that door for me. I'll look for the thing myself. There'll be no looking for the thing yourself. Even if I had the time to do this for you, I would need an application form for that. A formal request form, written in mosquito blood. In mis... Where would I even get that? Who's supposed to know that? Me or you? <sighs> From the Agony Certifier. Where else? Um, fine. I suppose I'll get that for you if you really need that. Whatever gets me inside. Locked. Guess I need to find some way around.
May your paths stay even as they are now. Such a great inspiration. May Perun always walk with you. I sincerely apologize, but I'm busy. But I... I am truly heartbroken to say that I don't have any time to assist you. I am... Knees deep in papers. There has been a tragic violation of the protocol in the form of somebody having sat in my chair. Oh, and I assume that spiders don't really sit in chairs, but this one was yours and... But of course I sit in my chair. What else would I need it for? Anyways, I am deeply depressed to inform you. That I am preoccupied until further notice. Well, maybe except for some minor matters that can be settled right away. Otherwise, the soonest available admission dates are in the spring. Very well. I won't take much of your time then. All I need from you is a formal request form written in mosquito blood. In mosquito blood? Oh my. Well, I regret to inform you that in order to issue a formal request form written in mosquito blood, I would require a deer hoof stamp. Sadly, I cannot proceed otherwise. A deer hoof stamp. <sighs> a deer hoof stamp. Yes. Sadly. From the execution specialist. Sadly, I cannot proceed otherwise. You're busy with papers, I know. <sighs> then why are you pestering me? Someone slept in my bed. We can't leave it like that, because I need to sleep in my bed. And I need it not slept in by anyone else. Listen. I know you have your procedures, but I really need to get somewhere, and for that I need to get a deer hoof stamp. I was told you'd... Oh, oh yeah. What do you know? I can only issue deer hoof stamps to folks with the rat skin license. I don't suppose you got that, do you? Rat skin license? That's absurd! Right. I feel you. But I don't make the rules. I mean, some of them I do make. But we've got a bit of a collective responsibility thing going on here. So, if you'd like to file a complaint, you can. To the pain dispatcher. You can get the Ratskin license from that guy too. Until then... I can't really help you. My patience is running out.
You again? You got that formal request form written in mosquito blood? Or are you here just to waste my time? I don't have that, but I need the rat skin license. That can only be issued based on the formal request form written in mosquito oh. blood. You can get one from the Agony Certifier. Now, would you please stop wasting my time? You won't beat them at their own game, Princess. <sighs> I need to get myself out of their web somehow. Again. I'm afraid I cannot aid you at this time. I won't be long. All I need is... A formal request form written in... Fly blood. In fly blood? Well, you don't see these often. I regret to inform you that I would need a frog tongue stamp for that. The Execution Specialist should be more than happy to provide you with that. Tongue stamp. What? Who makes stamps out of gnoll tongues? That's just wrong. Why would you even need that? I just need you to open that door for me. Um, uh, you know, the depository of un unprocessed artifacts? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? Here's the key, and don't you come back here. I've got a lot on my plate already. Waiting for the papers is not a walk in the park, you know. I 
You know who I am? Do I know it? I know all about you. I know you speak Ganolish and understand Bobox. I know you don't like water all that much and... Oh, and by the way, neither do I. And... and... and my name's Blossom, by the way. You're Blossom? Twig sister? I thought that little snake made you up. Well, I'm real. And I want to be just like you when I grow up. All those amazing things you did. You really think so? Mm-hmm. I heard you talking to that weird fish and that you really, really, really need that thing that's in here. So... So you raced me to it, just to... Give it to you. Yeah. But I got a bit distracted along the way and, well, a bit hungry too. You ate the spider's porridge? Um... And sat in their chair? I... I, um... <laughs> and slept in their bed? Do you even imagine what I had to go through to get in here? But I... I got you the golden shell up. Aren't you happy? Maybe a bit. Thank you, Blossom. <laughs> You're welcome. Girls should stick together, right? <laughs> hmm. All the applications accepted, all the permissions granted, all the procedures complete. Um, I suppose that's impressive. Could you move out of my way now? The process allowed us to deduce the fate of the perpetrator. So, what are you planning to do with her? Capital punishment. Of course, the perpetrator could file an appeal against that verdict. We highly encourage that. Such appeals often result in full dismissal of the punishment. We are merciful, after all. Civilized. Humane. So, where is the culprit? Hand them over at once. All she ever did here was in good faith. Her actions were necessary for my... I don't remember seeing your not-getting-shot-privilege document. Not getting... Uh, uh, of course we have it. Here. In three copies? Written with mosquito blood? Stamped with an ivory stamp. <clears throat> Don't shoot! I, I have filed proper requests already! 